Hey guys, Riley Spanish here. In this video, I have eight Elite Trainer boxes of Shrouded Fable. Um, I picked up a whole case from a local guy that gets distribution. He's like a whatnot streamer or something like that. And um, got a whole case of these, but two are set aside for my coworker who I recently got pretty into Pokemon. He wants to have one to rip and one to keep sealed, so. Got two of those for him there, and then eight to open here, which basically equals out to uh, two booster boxes worth of packs. Nine per with eight, that's uh, 72 packs there. Um, and then normal artwork, there's always some cool thing on the inside of these. Anyways, you get the uh, player's guide book finally which is something I like to have when a new set comes out so I can see all the illustration rares and SIRs and everything. But go through kind of the contents of the first one and then kind of just get straight to the packs for the rest. Make sure there's nothing caught in there. Um, these were delayed pretty significantly, you know, supposed to be a day one product, but that did not happen. Petcherunt promo card and pack of energies of course there's a code card for the ETB that's what the sleeves look like and same thing on the dividers uh, there's always practical use for dividers for me and then some cool like slime looking dice I do love the like color palette of this set a lot, the purple and green. And then for all of these, I'm gonna count to the packs just to make sure. You know, with them being delayed, I've had ETBs where I've gotten extra packs. I've, I don't think I've ever been shorted in an ETB though, but I've got the nine that it is supposed to have. Let's hope for a couple pulls. Um, Ideally, some of the illustration rares that I am missing from this set, because this will probably be my biggest rip in one shot that I do for this set. Eevee, Absol, and Copperaja. And I am here in my new office. Haven't fully moved in yet. That happens in about a week. Um, and then I will ideally at least have like a desk set up uh, at the very least to rip at, but I won't have the full thing set up probably for a couple more weeks uh, to where I want to give like a full tour of it where I have all my display pieces set up and everything. First hollow energy grass type. Meowth, Axew, Tapu Bulu. Still no poles, just a grass energy hollow. Cassiopeia, the Dusknoir illustration rare. That is a nice one to pull. And Blood Moon Ursaluna. That is one I have not pulled yet either, so that will be for the binder. Very happy to see that. The Dust Skull line ones are pretty expensive because I believe they are pretty playable because even the um, bulk cards of those are actually you know, worth more than normal bulk. I don't know if they still are up there, but um, the Dust Squaps and Dusk Noir were like 25 to 50 cents a piece, which is quite a bit for um, just normal bulk. Dust Squaps, Horsey, and Dusknoir, speaking of those Pokemon. Hopefully they still have some value by the time I move in because I have my TCG player store turned off until I'm done moving because it's just too much work to do both things at once. On top of working my normal job, got the Hollow Metal Energy Zerosic, Krogunk, and an Okie Dogi EX. First normal EX pull there. Qfont, Zubat, and Zoroark. 
Still haven't pulled a gold card. I know they're pretty tough to hit in this set. Um, and I think I've pulled two or three of the SIRs. I think maybe only two. Beware, Toxicroak, Caparaja. And this is the last pack of the first ETB Darkness Energy Hollow. Power Glass Zorua Cresselia. All right, time to open one more. Get my promo out. There's the code card for the ETB. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs. Stuffle Horsey Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Hollow Fighting Energy, Power Glass, Toxicroak, Revavroom, EX, Full Art. Not one of the uh, more valuable Full Arts by any means, but still a good pull. Hoping to see an SIR, maybe two out of all of these packs. Um, they are tough pull rate wise, but I've had pretty decent luck with it overall. Varum, Rowlet, Tapu Bulu. And Colrus, Blood Moon Ursaluna, and Kaparaja. Hollow Lightning Energy. Dusknoir, the Houndoom Illustration Rare. Such a cool one. Another one that I needed. Very sick artwork there. And Ursa Luna behind it. Love that. I've pulled two that I need for the binder now. Which is always exciting. Genesect, Cedra, Tapu Bulu. Stuffle, Dartrix, Haxorus. Hollow Water Energy, Night Stretcher, Zoroark, Blood Moon, Ursa Luna, and last pack from the second ETB. Still many, many more to go. Persian, Axiu, and Kaparaja. All right, time to get into the third one. Um, I feel like that one was a little light on pulls. Um, I don't know if the Rev of Room came from the first or second one, but I am happy that I got the Hound Doom at least. Uh, these ETBs were about $37 a piece for me, so um, not a terrible price. But you like to get something, a little something to kind of make up for a little bit of that cost in each of them. And normal amount of packs here. Let's 
Stuffle Haxorus Tapu Bulu. Hollow Grass Energy. Power Glass Cedra Caparaja. Fracture Monkey Dory EX Special Illustration Rare and Blood Moon Ursaluna. I can't remember. I think I may have already pulled this one. Whoops, I just dropped him. I have a little table right here, so it's not a big deal. But Monkey Dory EX Special Illustration Rare. I can't remember if this is one that I've hit already or not. Um, I no, I think I've hit Petcherunt and Pheasantipity. So we will take that. I am almost positive I still need Monkey Dory EX. Love to see that. And that is on ETB number three, so let's hope there's more in here. Let's hope there's a Cassiopeia in here. Drowsy Joltic Petcherunt EX. That is only the second normal EX that I've pulled. Normal EXs are actually a little sparse in this set. There's not very many different ones, but I don't seem to hit them often. And I just realized, you know, I'm about 25 or so packs in right now. Hollow Water Energy. No Ace Specs yet. Beware Axew Cresselia. Houndor, Galvantula, and a Revivroom EX. Right after I say not seeing many EXs, I get two like that. I do appreciate everyone that watches this all the way through, everyone that is uh, patient with me while I slow down my upload schedule, getting moved and everything. It is just, I'm too busy. I work at minimum like 52 hours a week and then trying to get my house ready and move on top of that. Just got to slow down the Pokemon a little bit while I get everything in order. Persian Crobat Copperaja. Uh, my goal is to have my little office here fully finished and set up by the time Stellar Crown is released and do some booster boxes in here with a fully set up room. Colrus, Rowlet, and Dusk Noir. And that is the end of ETB number three. So that one, couple EXs, and that Monkey Dory SIR. Get into ETB number four. After this, we will be halfway done. So this, min uh, this video is gonna be about 30 minutes or so. Um, you can obviously always skip to the end and see all the pulls. I will go through them. Um, or you can just watch, listen in the background, whatever you like to do. Varum Haxorus Tapu Bulu. I think I've got to be getting close to... Uh, Finishing the illustration rare. Still haven't hit Persian, and I know I need Dust Clops, um, but I got a handful there uh, today already. Colrus, Sneasel, and Haxorus. I know that I've already pulled the Horsey. Um, I believe the what is it? it's Fracture, I think, not Haxorus, that has a IR in this set. I haven't looked at my binder in at least a week, so I need to check that out when I go back to my apartment later today. Dusknoir, Inke, Copperaja. Looks like I'm sitting at uh, seven pulls total so far, which is 
you know, not the greatest pull rate ever, but um, quality over quantity, right? Genesect, Kiram, Blood Moon, Ursa Luna. Definitely loving hitting the uh, illustration rares because that is always my goal with a set is to get all of the IRs and SIRs. Stuffle, Weavile, another Full Art Rev of Room EX. We'll sleeve that one. Not the full art I like to see, especially not twice in one rip, being the only full arts I've pulled, but I'll take it. Probably about a $1 card there, Hollow Fire Energy, that Rev of Room. The other um, full arts are typically worth more. Night Stretcher, Joltik, Petrant EX, second one of them I have pulled. On the EXs, pulled four so far. I wish that they were all Fezendipities, of course, because those are like 12, maybe $15 a piece right now. Um, just for competitive, I believe. Persian, Yveltal, and Tapu Bulu. And I see my first ace spec, Neutralization Zone, Fracture, and Cresselia. Sorry, I hear Shippo making weird noises in the background. <whistles> Shippo. Here she comes. I don't know what she was up to, but I don't trust it with a house that's halfway put together and a bunch of garbage everywhere. Dusclops, Horsey, Caparaja. And that is the end of ETB number four. So we are halfway through. Get into number five. No illustration rares on that one, but the first Ace Spec trainer. Get my promo down there. Code card. And nine more packs. I think the last time I got an ETB with an extra pack was um, maybe uh, Paradox Rift. So it's not like something that happens often. I just like to count every time. Hollow Grass Energy, Dust Skull Fracture, Copperaja. Janine Golbat, Monkey Dory EX. Stuffle, the Fracture Illustration Rare. That is one I do already have. And Tapu Bulu, but that is okay. Still nice to see the Illustration Rares. Hoping to hit that Persian today. It is definitely a fan favorite. And I got three and a half more ETBs to do it. Obviously, Chase card is still that Cassiopeia, though. Varum Decidui Haxorus. Persian, Zoroark, Kaparaja. Colrus, Axew, Blood Moon, Ursa Luna. Three more packs of ETB number five. Hollow Metal Energy. Dusknor, Zorua, Tapu, Bulu. Mm -hmm. 
Genesect Tapu Bulu Haxorus. Eevee Absol Kingdra EX, first time seeing that one today. And that is the end of ETB number five. Code card. And nine packs. Always got to count. Hollow Fire Energy. Drowsy Fracture Cresselia. Sorry, I might have been out of view on that one. Qfont Joltic Tapu Bulu. Thing with such a small set is uh, the the same bulk over and over it gets a little tiresome. You're seeing like the same whatever it is, 70 cards over and over from the main set. Hypno Zoroark Dusk Noir. Nothing from this ETB yet. Copperaja, Slitherwing, Blood Moon, Ursa Luna. Academy, Sneasel, Pheasantipity EX. There we go. That's the one you want to see. See if I can sneak one or two more of those out of here today. Cresselia, Yveltal, Caparaja. Show me Persian or Cassiopeia. You've got hollow fighting energy there. Iron Moth, Krogunk, and Zoroark. Duskull, Crobat, Haxorus. And this is the last pack of ETB number six. Janine, gold basic metal energy. First gold pull from the set and Copperaja. That is crazy how many packs it takes to hit a gold. I've hit three SIRs in the time it took to hit one gold. Golds are not usually worth that much to be honest, unfortunately, but we will take that. It looks cool. Honestly, Gold energies, like, they always look pretty cool, but the colors with it being, like, silver and gold contrast really well there on the basic metal energy. Anyways, good way to finish out ETB number six. Let's get into number seven. Code card. Nine more packs. Home stretch here. Second to last ETB. One SIR on the board. And uh, three illustration rares. Would love to up that count with these last two ETBs. 
preferably more stuff that I need for the collection. Iron Moth, Absol, Haxorus. Maybe another uh, Pheasantipity EX or two to recoup some of the cost of these. Fighting type Energy Hollow. Duskull, Decidui, Ursaluna. Cassiopeia, Decidui, Kingdra EX Full Art. That's a really nice looking one. I have pulled it before, but it is a beautiful card. I love Kingdra. I'm super, super into uh, Generation 2. Dusclops. Dusclops! There we go. The Dusclops Illustration Rare. So now I have the full evolution line. Hit the Dusk Noir in this exact video. And I got the Dusk Skull on my first uh, couple days of, or my first round of ripping products from this set. I wish I had um, my binder with me here so I could show the full evolution line, but I love the art style of them. It looks so good. So that is what I love to see. Pulling stuff I need for the binder here. This ETB has been pretty solid with that Dusclops and the Full Art Kingdra. See if I can get anything else out of it. Hollow Water Energy. Zerosic Axew Zoroark. Qfont, Cedra, Pheasantipity, EX again. All right, so this box was absolutely profitable if you want to put it in terms of money. Pheasantipity, EX, Dusclops, uh, Illustration Rare, and uh, Full Art Kingdra plus promo card, bulk, whatever you add it all up. Um, this one has definitely been good considering the price per ETB that I paid. Academy, Malamar, Kaparaja, those Night Stretchers too. Um, I believe those are like 25 to 50 cents a piece, so it's another bulk card that I've been setting aside. I was putting them on TCG Player, but right now my store is uh, inactive while I move. Furfru, Haxorus, Cresselia, and last pack of ETB number 7 out of 8. And then I will finish off with ETB number 8 here. Very long video, of course, but a uh, pull summary will be after that. Sylveon, another gold power glass this time. Two ETBs in a row with gold. So that ETB was by far the best one. I mean, even better than the one with the uh, SIR in it. Because I got Dusclops IR, Gold Power Glass, Full Art Kingdra, and a Pheasantipity EX from that one. That was killer. Alright, so I went from zero golds to, uh, in the stretch of two ETBs, having two. They are not easy to pull though, I'll tell you that. Last ETB here. One more code card. I haven't noticed anything weird with the ETBs, of course. I'm not sure exactly what the delay was all about. Um, but definitely had some pretty solid pulls from these. But like I said, this will definitely be my biggest rip I do of the set. Um, if any of the other products become like discounted, I may get back into them or maybe do another case or two of mini tins. But... Um, you know, buying these at MSRP, eh, a little, little tougher there with them being 50 bucks. Varum, Rowlet, Ursaluna. Hoping for one more SIR or 
maybe an illustration rare that I still need. I think I need a Cedra and um, Persian. That may be it. I just don't have um, my binder, like I said, so I'm not positive specifically which ones. Drowsy, Kiram, and a Monkey Dory EX. Toxicroak, Beware, Illustration Rare, and that, I think, I don't remember. I may or may not have needed it, and Dusk Noir. Either way, happy to see another uh, Illustration Rare. I really can't remember if I've pulled this guy yet, but very cool one. Moving along, got an EX and an IR from this final ETB here, why not throw another SIR in the mix to close things out. EV Haxorus Zoroark, four packs left. Sylveon, Slitherwing, and a Full Art Colrus's Tenacity. Binding Mochi, Fracture, Copperaja. Second to last pack. Oops. Copperaja, Golbat, Haxorus, and can I get some last pack magic here? Final pack. Hollow Lightning Energy. Stuffle, Decidueye, and a Kingdra EX. So, little pull at the end. It is time to go through everything I hit, though. Starting with normal EXs. Got a pretty solid stack here. Kingdra Monkey Dory, Pheasantipity times two. Another Kingdra, another Monkey Dory. Petcherunt, Revavroom, Petcherunt, Okie Dogie. And... One Ace Spec Neutralization Zone. Illustration Rares here. Beware, Dusclops, Dusk Noir, Fracture, Houndoom, and a Monkey Dory EX Special Illustration Rare. Full Arts, we've got Colrus, Kingdra, and two Rev of Rooms, and two Gold Cards pulled. Power Glass and Basic Metal Energy. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and stay tuned for when I get this room fully set up, do much more rips, get back to a uh, more normal schedule doing this. Thank you.